Welcome to Hashtag Manage, the podcast that takes you behind the scenes of building a booked out social media business. Tune in every week for transparent conversations from a six-figure social media agency owner, sharing the highlights and lowlights of being a business owner, and episodes featuring industry experts to help you start, scale, and book out your own social media management business. Now, here's your host, Jessica Sheehy. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Managed. I can't believe we are at episode 40. This feels like such an amazing accomplishment. And I think back to this time last year when we were really starting the planning process for this podcast and just really putting so much time, energy, and resources into it. So I want to say a huge thank you to you listening right now. Even if this is the first time you've ever listened to Hashtag Manage, I truly appreciate you taking any time out of your busy schedule to listen to this podcast. And if you've been a listener for the past 40 episodes, or even just a few, that's okay too. I just want to say a huge thank you for your support. It really, really means the world to myself and a team so Savvy, who is behind all of the magic that we've been producing for the past 40 weeks and 40 episodes of this show. So just wanted to take some time to really say thank you for that. And now let's dive into this week's episode because we had such great feedback from a few episodes ago. We went deep into definitions, acronyms, abbreviations that are a part of the social media industry. And I want to do that same concept, have a really good, really full episode of tools that we use as social media managers. So this week, we're talking about the best tools, resources, and templates that you need as a social media manager. If you're a social media manager looking for systems to help run your business, there are a few tools that you need in your toolbox to help you manage accounts, create content, and stay organized. These tools have been a game changer for our agency, and I know you'll love them too. So this episode is packed with so many tools, templates, and resources, so be sure to save this episode and come back to it when you need it. And if you want to access any of these tools directly, we've linked out to every single tool. And disclaimer, some of those links are affiliate links. It means at no cost to you, if you click those links and sign up for the tools, we'll receive a little bit of a kickback for referring this tool to you. But again, it costs you nothing. And most of the time, it does give you a little percentage off. So we love a good savings around here. You can head to the show notes of this episode at socialsavvyhq.co forward slash podcast. That's P-O-D-C-A-S-T for all of those links. Now let's dive into the tools in this episode. So for our website hosting, our domains, our Google workspace as a team, and our e-commerce shop, that is our templates shop for social media managers and business owners, we use Squarespace. I've been a user of Squarespace for several years now, and I love the simplicity of it. I love how easy it is to design a new page in little to no time. I love the templates that they have, and I love all of the additional capabilities, such as viewing the analytics and reporting of our website traffic, looking at the analytics and sales of our e-commerce shop, and just how everything is beautifully integrated. For project management, we use ClickUp. This is the tool to help us stay organized, plan out client projects, internal projects, and collaborate as a team. And we not only use it to organize and really systemize our business side of things, but we use it for content calendars as well, for our internal content and for client content as well to really keep things organized. And it's where we have our client approvals in there. For communication, we love and use Slack every single day. We have different channels for different clients. We have channels for different internal projects that we do as a team, such as our blog, the podcast, and so on. And it's just a great way to connect, stay in communication. And sometimes we have a little bit of fun sharing some fun resources and templates that we find in just collaborating as a team. For contracts, I love the contract shop. I feel like their templates are always really encompassing everything that's needed, and they have a lot of amazing additional resources and templates and bundles for not only social media managers, but for business owners. So podcast, collaboration contracts, white labeled, so many different things that you need a contract or an NDA or anything like that. They have it and you just have that peace of mind that they were created by a lawyer and it was created intentionally. 
For a CRM tool, we use Dubsado. This is where we send proposals and contracts. We also send out invoices here as well. We connect it to Stripe. So Stripe is our credit card processor that we connect to Dubsado. We connect it to our e-commerce shop on Squarespace as well. And another tool that I'll mention at the very end of this episode for other sales funnels and whatnot. And Dubsado is a really easy way to keep things automated. If we're sending similar emails or anything like that, I can set it up as a workflow so I'm never having to write the same email twice, I can have it all automated and it saves me so much time. We do have an affiliate code for Dubsado. It's social savvy HQ. So that's our Instagram handle if that is helpful and you get 20% off with that code. And for ChatGPT, we love to use it in our back end of things, not so much for copywriting, but for research, for finding out more about a topic, for generating lists of questions for clients and content ideas to post. So ChatGPT is an AI tool. It is powered by putting in prompts into it and it will think for a few seconds and it will generate whatever you've asked it to do. It's a really, really powerful tool and there's so much more that we can go into that. Um, We are gonna have a guest expert coming up here in a few weeks to really dive into the depths of ChatGPT. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get back to the other tools that we use as a social media manager. For booking a call with potential clients, with current clients, I love to use Calendly. It integrates directly to my Google Calendar. So if I have anything blocked off prior, then it will never have that visible on the calendar for people to book. And then no more back and forth emailing. Does this time work for you? Does that time work for you? Everything is kind of done all at once. And depending on the type of call, if it's something that I need to ask questions beforehand, such as I'm doing a discovery call with a potential new client, I can add in a few additional questions to really help me better prepare for the call. And it also integrates with Zoom, which is the tool that we all are using for virtual meetings for clients and as a team. And so it's really awesome when just so many tools can talk together. It can really automate things and it just saves time. That's kind of the whole point of the tools that I'm mentioning in this episode. And if you're ever looking for tools, I think the two biggest factors are to think about, is this going to save you time? Because time is money. And also how much is does it cost? What is the money here? Because we're all business owners and we have to make those smart decisions. We do need to have tools and have expenses in our business, but we just want to make sure that it's not really hurting our bottom line and we're still profitable in what we're making as a social media manager. We'll get right back to this episode in just a minute, but I wanted to share that our brand new course for social media marketers is here, The Manage Method. Learn how to become a skilled, booked out social media manager in this value-packed five-module course. We'll show you step-by-step the strategies that we use to grow organically on social media, how to manage social media accounts, how to create your signature service that makes you stand out in the sea of social media managers, pricing, procedures, and processes that you need in your social media management management business, how to scale your business by getting booked out with dream clients. From the skills to the business savvy, the manage method is the only course that teaches you both at an affordable price. It's part of our mission here at Social Savvy to make things more accessible and affordable for our community. You asked, we delivered with this course. Head to the show notes of this episode or go to socialsavvyhq.co forward slash podcast to enroll today at the lowest price we'll ever offer this course just for our hashtag manage community. Now let's get back to those tools. For graphic design, we are huge fans of Canva and more more specifically Canva Pro. We love all of the different integrations and features and just additional elements that you get with the Canva Pro account. We can all collaborate on designs as a team in real time, and it makes graphic design so easy for all things needed for social media. For short form video editing for videos such as Reels and TikToks, we love and use CapCut. For long form video editing, like for the hashtag manage podcast episodes, we use Veed. It will automatically add subtitles and it also has AI built in for generating short form clips for reels and TikToks from these long form podcast videos. So we love a tool that integrates with AI and really just helps us get more content out of that one long form video. 
For tutorials for the team or screen recordings for clients, we love Loom, L-O-O-M. It's a really awesome tool that you can integrate into your Google Chrome and it will record your screen with your video, without your video. You can walk through, show something and really go deep into your process of what you're creating. Or sometimes I like to use it to ask a question. It's sometimes it's much easier to ask that question on a video versus typing it out in a Slack message. For brand photography, content, and video shoots, we partner with the team at Workplay Branding. We also have a special offer linked with them in the show notes of this episode, but they have a really amazing offer for any entrepreneur or small business owner who needs content. So that could be photo or video. They work with you from start to finish. So with creating the mood board for the shoot to outlining the whole day of shooting, and they do four quarterly photo shoots or video shoots, or you could do both um, for an added charge with that. But it's a really amazing way to get so much content at your fingertips. For content scheduling, we love Later. It's our favorite scheduling tool for all of the social media platforms. It has a preview capability that allows you to look at the Instagram feed when all of the posts are on the calendar, and the analytics reporting is top tier. For hashtag research, we love using meta hashtags. It's a really awesome tool to quickly and easily do hashtag research, especially if you're working with a new client and you're not familiar with the hashtags used in that industry. Since we work from our computers and we are sometimes traveling while working, we love to use a virtual private network such as Surfshark. So this is a VPN. Again, it's a virtual private network. It's how you can connect and secure your online surfing and data to prevent any hackers or anything that could happen as you're working on the road. It's an also an amazing way to sometimes set your VPN to be a local VPN to a city for a client. So for example, it can kind of just help you with targeting, with geotagging, different things like that. If you are working with clients who are halfway across the country, that's a great way to not only keep your data safe and secure, keep your clients data safe and secure, but also to get a little bit closer for them. And last year, I actually went on vacation in Europe. I was in Greece. They did not have reels in Greece. So I was going to publish a few reels and I realized, oh no, I do not have access to reels in this country. So I just quickly switched my VPN back to the US and within just a few minutes, I was able to upload and post those reels, which was really awesome to have that at my fingertips. For fonts and graphic design elements, we love going to Creative Market. It's a great platform to find fonts, graphic design elements for Canva, for Adobe, wherever you're designing. And it's an amazing marketplace that connects you with other creators. So we love supporting other creators and small business owners when we're making those purchases for clients or campaigns. For SMS marketing, we love Textedly. It's a great way to create a text message campaign for your clients. It's so easy to send SMS marketing to those people who opt in as well. For chatbot marketing, we love mini chat. Chatbot is something that you can incorporate over on Instagram, on Facebook, and you can do something as simple as comment this keyword. We'll send you a link in the DMs. And it's such an amazing way to just further have automated conversations with more people in your client's audience. For email marketing, we love Flowdesk. It is a really easy and intuitive platform to create email marketing, to create opt-in form sequences, and to track that email data. And finally, for an all-in-one marketing tool, so think emails, sales funnels, marketing funnels, sales pages, checkout cards, memberships, courses, all of the above. We personally love and use Kartra here at Team Social Savvy. It is something that can fully integrate all of the different things that we're doing, and it's a really great way to make sure when we are marketing our memberships and courses that we are really keeping things together. We know who's in what. If we're trying to do promos for certain things, we can make sure we're, you know, ex including people who are already in those memberships. And it's just a great way to keep things all in one place. I do have two other bonus tools that may or may not apply to you, but I wanted to share them here as I'm going through all of these tools. And these are the tools that we use for the podcast for hashtag managed. I know I mentioned a few tools prior that we use for, you know, scheduling calls and or creating those short form videos, but we use hello audio for hosting the podcast. You can host a public feed podcast, such as this show or any other show that you listen to on Spotify or Apple, or you can have a private podcast 
podcast. And finally, we use Riverside for recording this show. So I'm speaking into Riverside right now. The quality is so good for video and audio, especially if you're inviting guests onto the show. It's much better than Zoom, just how it records everything onto the cloud, keeps it all separate tracks, and just really makes it easy for downloading that episode to edit for the final podcast episode. They also have an AI integration, which we love, (laughs) called Magic Clips, that automatically generates short form videos, so reels, TikToks, that are even subtitled from your podcast recording. This episode is brought to you by our template and resource shop. Head to the show notes of this episode for a link to our brand new digital shop for social media managers or go to socialsavvyhq.co forward slash shop. That's S-H-O-P. That's all for this week on Hashtag Manage. Make sure you subscribe so you can be notified when we drop new episodes every single Monday. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Hashtag Managed. If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show, and we greatly appreciate it. Come back next week for another new episode of Hashtag Managed. We'll see you then.